What's going on everyone and happy new year. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to cover 10 levels of Kirby combos, starting with level one, the noob level, the kind of stuff you can do in your sleep, ending at level 10 with just the dirtiest, nastiest combo, the type of combo that ruins friendships. Let's get into it. All right, starting at level one, this should be the combo that you can do in your sleep. You shouldn't have to think about it, whether this is hour one of playing Smash or hour 10,000. It's an easy one. Jab, jab. You got this. Easy peasy, 4%, we got it. Obviously nothing special here, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. Start with the jab, jab. Now moving on to level two. Again, easy one. This shouldn't be difficult. This shouldn't be anything new. All you gotta do, walk up to your opponent, up tilt three times in a row. That bad boy is true, and it gives you 14%. For the sake of calling it out, you can actually improve this combo to make it true at 0%. Now the way to do that is do a quick turnaround as you approach your opponent so that you're starting the back air while facing away, like this. That's a true combo, 16% using the back side of the up tilt. Level 3. Level 3 is starting to get into the bread and butter combos. Combos that you can use pretty much anywhere at most opportunities, and especially this piece you can use mixed into other combos we'll be touching on later. All it is, forward throw into forward air. Very easy, especially against fast fallers like Captain Falcon. You don't have to fast fall with him, you don't have to jump, you just forward throw and hit your fair, your forward air, and you're good to go. That's an easy, what is that, 22.8%? Yeah, that's a that's a good one. You need to know that one. Look at that level three and we're already at really good combos Can you imagine what level 10 will be level four now? We're gonna do a down air up tilt into back air This is another pretty much a bread and butter I'd say the down air to up tilt is pretty standard adding in the back air just for a little bit of extra flair now technically this isn't true, but I can pretty much guarantee that nine out of 10 times you're gonna land it on your opponent. Like they're not gonna be able to tech out of it or air dodge out of it, you're gonna be fine. So down air, up tilt, back air, easy peasy. Really, really good 27% damage. One more time, down air, up tilt, back air. And you can really do it with any amount of the down air hits. You can even do short hop, cross them up. The important thing about this combo is making sure that when you're landing with your down air, you're crossing them up because then you hit the up tilt quicker and you're already set up in the right direction to hit them with the back air. So cross them up with the down air, up tilt, back air. Easy. Or maybe I shouldn't say easy, we're at level four. Uh, medium, kind of hard, not really, you got it. Level five, now we start getting into combos that require a bit of precise timing. This one will be a falling up air into up tilt into followed up up air. The important part is making sure that you hit the up air right before you hit the ground, just like that. You want to get it as late as possible because then you can start comboing it into the up tilt. So let's do the full thing, just like that. And that's a 27% combo. It's clean too. It just looks good. Like it's a, it's just, it, it's a saucy combo in and of itself, you know? And the nice thing about it, honestly, is that it sets you up well for other things. You know, you could, you could follow up with, let's see, maybe another up air, catch him off guard with the down air. I mean, yeah, I don't know, you could keep going with it, but the point is, it's a clean setup, it's all true, you got it. It's a good one, level five complete. Level six, this one is definitely one that you need to keep in your back pocket, because this one is, although a simple combo, it's only two different moves, it does have precise timing, but it is a kill option. And as Kirby, who's relatively light, not the strongest hitter in the world, you need to know these. This one, to put it simply, is getting the first hit of your forward air directly into an F smash. Now this really only works at higher percents because there's a longer hit stun. It's also a kill option, so you should really only be using it at high percents anyways. The important piece about this is making sure that you start your forward air right before hitting the ground. So you can see right here, the way I'm getting just that first kick, there's three kicks in the forward air. You wanna get just the first one before you hit the ground and then immediately follow it up with a buffered F smash. So let me show you. Just like that. 22%, but that doesn't really matter. Honestly, the important piece of this is that it's a kill option. Really, really great kill option too. Best thing to do that I typically do it with 
as I'll try to bait out an attack, I'll, I'll drift in, wait for them to attack, and if they whiff, then I land with that first hit of fair, land that F smash, boom, stock taken. Level 7. This one, aside from the level 10 combo, is probably my favorite on the list, partially because I use it all the time, and two, because it looks so clean. This is an easy way to show off in front of your friends. <laughs> so we're gonna hit a back air, two down tilts to an F smash. Then the down tilts function as jab locks, which are great, great jab lock options. So let me show you. We're gonna approach, back air, down tilt, down tilt, F smash. That is a, I mean, that is just an easy, honestly, relatively easy combo. You just have to make sure to hit your back air close to the ground and make sure to chase your opponent right afterward. Something to keep in mind too, this actually can be used at a kill option at higher percents. Granted, higher percents, they'll move further away so it can be harder to chase. But between your down tilts, walk towards them and push them so that when you're on a stage, you're getting them as close to the edge of the stage as possible. So you're gonna get the back air, push a little bit, push, F smash. And as you can see, that would have killed. If it's at the edge of the stage, this can kill at higher percents. I think anything with jab blocking with Kirby just looks so clean. There, there's just something about the, there's like getting them stuck in that animation that just, it asserts the Kirby dominance that we need in this world. All right, level eight. This one also includes a jab block, but we're actually gonna use the jabs. And it's important to use jabs here because Kirby can act quicker out of a jab than he can out of a down tilt. This one, we're gonna F tilt, jab lock, into down air, into up tilt, into inhale. This is technically a true combo to absorb your opponent's abilities. You don't need to go through this much work to do it, but man, is it saucy if you do. All right, F tilt, jab, jab, short hop down air, up tilt, inhale, got him. Finish it off with just a good old falcon punch, why don't you? Jeez. Again, with this one, it is important to use the jab instead of down tilt. You won't be able to get that short hop down air as consistently if you're using down tilt as the jab block. You can technically use down tilt jab for jab lock to keep it going. I find it easier for this, especially in the pressure of the moment, just to jab with it. One more time because it's too beautiful not to look at again. Imagine if the falcon punch part of this was true. <laughs> Man, that'd be sweet. Level nine. So now we're really getting into some of the more complicated inputs. Granted, at this point, if you've gotten up to level eight, I can guarantee you're gonna be able to do level nine. So we're gonna do something similar to what we've done in the past with other ones. We're gonna do a run up Nair this time. We're gonna do a turnaround up tilt like we talked about in the level two combo. Then we're gonna hit him with a down air, up tilt into up air. There are technically pieces you can add in the middle of this combo, but I will leave that up to you to figure out. Strong hit Nair, turnaround up tilt, down air, up tilt, up air. Oh, it just looks so good. The movement just looks so good, you know? One more time. Mmm, Kirby has sauce. He's 100% a slept on character. Like you can't tell me that this isn't cool. It's cool. The important thing to know here is that your up tilt does need to be a turnaround up tilt. Sometimes when they're down and you try to use the up tilt facing them, because it doesn't go all the way to the ground, smaller opponents or opponents that just lay more flat on the ground will not get hit by it. But if you turn it around, it's a guaranteed hit. So Captain Falcon is one of the ones where he's too low, right? So it won't connect. But if you turn it around, it will. So make sure to turn around your up tilt when you're doing it. Okay. The fabled level 10 professional friendship ruining combo. You guys thought Monopoly ruined friendships. This combo ruins friendships. I'm gonna have to read this one off my screen because I'm not gonna remember every input. <laughs> it's 10 inputs. Look, we're basically Kazi at this point. He's got a 10 input combo where you hold A. Kirby's got a 10 input combo where you actually have to have more than a single brain cell. Anyways, it's down air, forward throw, forward air, forward throw, down air, up tilt, footstool, down tilt, jab one, side B. <laughs> it's a lot, but some of these are pieces from other combos we've done previously, so let's put it all together. I'm gonna go a couple at a time here. Also, this really only works at about 0%, maybe starting at 5% and it doesn't work against really floaty characters, but it works against most of the cast. I'm gonna do the first five inputs first, just so that you see what the first half of the combo looks like. Down air, forward throw, forward air, run up, forward throw, down air, right? 
Now I'm gonna tell you right now, just that piece alone is a phenomenal starting combo against your opponents. I use it every day uh, because you can get a true grab out of down air, right? So down air, grab. This combo, the forward throw fair we talked about as what? That was level three. And then if you run up and get another grab, you can immediately follow it up with a forward throw down air. Forward air won't work a second time, but down air does. So one more time, down air, grab, forward throw, forward air, grab, forward throw, down air, right? Practice that, you got half the combo done. Granted, the second half is a little bit more challenging, but we got this. You got this, not, not me, you, you can do this. All right, so now we're gonna add in the second half of the combo here. I'm gonna show it to you and then I'll try to explain it. Tell me, tell me, that's not one of the greatest combos you've ever seen. It looks complicated because of the footstool, but it's one of these things where once you get it once, it's really easy. And one way to practice the second half, start your opponent at, I don't know, 45-ish percent. Up tilt, immediately double jump, right? Up tilt, spam that jump jump button while angling towards your opponent, which I guess I'm pointing the wrong way. In this case is that way. <laughs> so up tilt, jump, 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 footstool. Once you get that footstool, you wanna directionally air dodge back to where you started, right? up tilt, footstool, air dodge back down. That's what makes this so difficult because getting that air dodge at the right time after the footstool to position yourself correctly for the jab lock is a bit hard, but once you get it, it's muscle memory. So uh, then you do down tilt, jab one, side B, which is easy. We've done that basically, right? Some of the other combos basically do that. Up tilt, footstool. See, it, once you get the tumble and you're back to your starting point, Doing down tilt, jab, side B, that's easy. Just master this piece, down tilt, jab, side B. Really good. Now, put it all together and it's, I think it was what, a, like an 80, 80 something, 85% combo. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> It's so good. So that is it. That is your level 10 friendship ending combo. If you are able to get this, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know which of you were able to master this combo. That is our 10 levels of combos for Kirby. If you liked this video, let me know. I'd be happy to do it for some other characters if you're interested. And if you've made it this far into the video, please give me a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not subbed, please subscribe as well. It's free. I give out free content, fun content with Kirby, which is the best type of content around. Click the button. If you guys want to hang out with me on Twitch, I also stream three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 5 to 7.30 p.m. PST. I play all kinds of games, but Smash is obviously one of the main ones that I do play. All right, my friends, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Stages with small blast zones, this might be a zero to death. I'm not, I'm not adding that to the video. <laughs> I don't know that for sure. <laughs>